It's like saying, ah, I don't even put your collar on. What up, peeps? This is 14 Days of Love, day 12. Finally decided on you. It's been another perfect day with ya. Wanna lay with ya. Spend the night with ya. It's been my life with ya. guys so today what we're talking about today is kind of relevant is that 10 last minute gifts that you can give for your significant other on Valentine's Day so if you if you don't have any idea what to get your girlfriend your boyfriend Valentine's Day and you just need a last minute you know what do I do this should help out just a little bit so let's get this video started we're gonna start with some basic gifts and then move our way up so starting at number one you could get their favorite candy. Like for example, my favorite candy is, oh, uh, you know what you wanna say? <laughs> so my favorite candy is Hershey's Cookies and Cream. Yep. Sparkle's favorite is? Snickers Almond. Snickers Almond. It's typically not something that we get all the time, but you can get that for each other. Whatever your significant other's thing is, you can get that and get it in like a huge, like, you know, king size, because usually at Walmart, they usually have a king size version of whatever it is. So, they see that. Or you can get multiple of that and put it, you know, and get it together and hand it to them. Put a bow on it. Put a bow on it. <laughs> you know, do all that good stuff. So make it a little special. Right. But, candy, number one. Number two is a card. Now, you can either make a card or you could go to Hallmark and get a nice card. You can get a card that sings. You can get a card that says something sweet. You can get a card that says something funny. Right. A good card, you know, people undervalue a really good card. But a good card goes a long way. And don't just use the words that's in the card. Put your little special touch to it. Put your little special words that you would want to say to your significant other so they know that you have more to say than what the card has. So for number three, what you can do is get your significant other a gift card to their favorite store. So, um, I know he likes Urban stuff, so I'll probably get him a gift, a gift card to Urban Wear store, or I can get him a gift card to Nike because I know he likes tennis shoes. So that's something you can do. Just think about the stuff they like and just go to wherever you can get a gift card from and get that special store that they love. Or if you want them to start wearing a certain type of wear, you can like drop a little subtle hint and say, here's the <laughs> gift card to, you know, Forever 21 or H&M. Wait, no, not H&M. <laughs> not H&M. Um, you know, like Banana Republic or, you know, whatever your taste is or what you want them to wear, you know, you want to drop a little hint, you can just give a gift card to them. So that they get that first thing and be like, ooh, I gotta go back for this. Right, so, right. <laughs> you know, it's kind of a passive, maniacal way to get people to up their style. <laughs> Number four, get like a cute animal. And I'm not, and of course, you know, Valentine's Day, you know, they have the, the bears from the small bears to the huge bears to all those sorts of things. But don't limit it to just a bear. If their favorite animal is a giraffe, elephant. <laughs> an elephant. Get them an elephant. If it's a, Giraffe, get them a giraffe. If it's something else, I don't know what else really they, that people like like that. <laughs> but just get them, you know, just a little cute doll that's not too much. Maybe get it, uh, maybe go to your local mall and get it a little t shirt. If you got a little bit of time, you can go to Build a Bear and build your own animal. I think they do more than just bears there. I ain't never got anything from there. But, <laughs> you know, you can do that too. So, would you want a bear from me? I don't know what I want. I probably want a ape. Oh, you want to eat? If anything. Okay. For number five, what you can do is get your significant other their favorite drink. Whether that is water. What? Whether that is juice. <laughs> whether that is wine. You know what your significant other likes. Like, y'all know. So just get them their favorite drink that they always post or they don't get as often and say, hey, I know you like this. So I'm gonna get you this on this day. Don't get them a 32 pack of water. That's, just gonna be disrespectful. <laughs> That's only $3 at Walmart. Don't do that. <laughs> get them some nice, get them like Gatorade, sodas, fruit drinks, canned drinks, energy drinks, whatever it is. You know, get them that. Right. Don't get them a six pack of water. That's just disrespectful. No, it's not. <laughs> Number six, get them some inexpensive jewelry. 
Um, and by that, we mean like for girls, you know, get them earrings, get them maybe a bracelet, get your guy a, a man bracelet. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, you know, man bracelet, but you know, a bracelet or, you know, he might be in the earrings too or whatever, or get him a decent little watch. watch. Mm -hmm. um, and if they even don't wear a watch, this is a good time to get them a watch right. so that people can be on time. Mm -hmm. So get them something that's not like, I'm not talking like a Pandora bracelet that's going to break the <laughs> bank for like 200 plus dollars. But like get them something that looks nice and that will last them a nice little while. Something that just they can accessorize with later right. on. So number seven, what you can do is get just significant other a gift basket. So in this gift basket, you can give him or her a favorite or his favorite candy chocolate, some sauce, some juice, some fruit. Just pack it up with different things that you know your significant other likes and just wrap it up nicely or it's all you you can make it yourself um, to say like this is a DIY or you can go to someone professionally and have it done where they fancy it all up with balloons and ribbon and bow. Just make it look nice. But just gather a lot of stuff that your significant other likes and put it together. And if you want to be creative with it, like get something that's typically not in a gift basket. Like mm -hmm. if their favorite thing is sour straws, get a whole bunch of sour straws and just pack it up in the basket and then put like, you know, a hat, like a, you know, like a bill hat or something that they're really in the hats or whatever. But be creative with the gift basket. Right. Don't just get like a typical gift basket that you can just run in and out of Kroger, Walmart. I mean, you can do that if you need to, right. but if you have a little time, be creative with this basket. Go to Hobby Lobby, go to whatever your local store is and like build it from scratch. Right. All right, number eight, and this is like if your person really likes fruit, get them an edible arrangement. Edible arrangement is a little bit of an investment because they are not cheap and they actually use real fresh fruit. Right. But, you know, if they really like fruit, you can customize it from a fruit medley that has a whole bunch of fruit or you can be very specific with the type of fruits that they like but there's something different than the typical flowers and candy that and especially if they're you know really healthy or whatever that's a really good alternative for that but it does cost a little bit of money so be prepared to drop that change and I think their availability probably is a little bit better than your typical flower shop around this time of year, which is probably booked up right about this time of year. Right, so what you can do with that is you can either go to the, pick it up yourself, which is free, or you can have it delivered to your significant other's workplace, deliver it to home while they're asleep. Um, but that costs like $14.99 shipping. Mm -hmm. So um, the edible arrangements, I think the lowest is like $25 and it can go up to like $200 plus. Yeah. So it just depends on if you want to spend the minimum and just say it's a nice simple gift or you want to splurge and buy them all the fruit they can eat. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, number nine is a new cologne perfume. Uh, and also not just cologne and perfume but also like maybe a nice smelling lotion. I know Bed Bath & Body Works has good stuff for men and women that smells really good. I mean if you want your significant other to smell like something specific. Go get them that, but also get them something that obviously they like. Like for example, she don't like fruity stuff, but fruity stuff kind of smell okay to me. But I would never get her fruity stuff because I know she would never wear it. Mm -hmm. Then that's just a waste of my money. Right. And also, if you like me and like body oils, they're like five dollars at the Chinese. Yes. Or in the beauty stores. Oils at the hair store, at the local hair stores, where people, you know take the cologne and bottle it and make it into oils that last longer than the perfume that's one too so don't sleep on that but right. smell good products for your significant other right and number 10 our final one for today is a phone case so you know a lot of you guys be walking around with no phone case so do something for your significant other and buy them a phone case you can even make it created by getting one that's customized with Jaws Sue's picture on it or um, get one with just his or her picture on it. Just customize it and, and make sure I get one that's gonna last long, not one that's gonna break easy. I don't know where you're gonna find somebody to get a face on a phone case in a day, but okay. I mean, if you, if you, you gotta, plan it, if you plan it out. They ain't plan it out, it's last minute. They got. Last minute can be a they week. They got two days. Last minute can be a week. They have two days to get it together. Okay, well. Anyway, <laughs> um, but yeah, get yourself a phone case. If you like me and dropping your phone all the time, your phone case can be a saving grace because the fact that I have the Autobox saves my phone each and every time. So, if your partner has been through her second, third, fourth phone, 
I think it's time for you to help them out and invest in a phone case that can prevent that from spending that deductible money. All right, All right peeps, that is our 10 last minute gift ideas for Valentine's Day for your significant other. Hope it was helpful. Hope you've enjoyed the first 12 days. We're going to try to do something a little different for the next two days, so make sure you stay tuned for that. But make sure that you are subscribed to the channel so you don't miss it. Like, comment some ideas that you came up with for your last minute Valentine's Day gifts. And make sure that you follow us on Instagram at thatguyklove. And at underscore shorty love. All right, guys. Until next time. Peace.